Hey everyone, so I got this package here and I'm really excited to open it up. This here is a Wanhao Duplicator i3 from Monoprice. Um, I just got, it just came in the mail today, so I'm going to open it up. So let's, let's get it out here and take a quick look at it. Um, I'm not going to be doing a um, setup video. I will just be showing you how it's packaged and stuff and then set it up um, off, off camera. And then once I get it set up and working, I'll come back and show you guys how it works. So I've never actually touched a 3D printer before. I have had, I have touched like the actual 3D prints and um, I do have some filament from, I believe Maker Geeks if I remember correctly. So all right, got the top opened up here. And um, as you can see here, it's really, looks like it's packaged pretty well. Has this uh, plastic film around it. So uh, I wonder if this is, let me try to get the directions out here. All right, so very simple directions. Hopefully it goes through everything pretty well. I, I did watch a bunch of videos and stuff online of people uh, setting these up. So, you know, if you guys want to see how to set this up, um, you can go see some of those videos So uh, let's see here. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this out with holding the camera So let me set the camera down and get it out quick Alrighty, so I got it out this far and in the bottom of the box there is a small sample of filament a uh, manual and then the uh, uh, build plate material that you put on to help uh, adhesion. I don't know if I'll put this on. Well, I'll probably put it on here, but we'll see once we get it out. So let me set this aside. And let me get to this. So now this here has a, this here has a opening on the bottom. Knife here. And like I said, I'm not going to really be doing a set up of me setting it up because I'm gonna have to read the directions and stuff but all right so let me get this out of the packaging and then we'll take a quick look at it and then I'll go ahead and set it up and see if we can get it working Alrighty, so I got it printing here, so I guess we'll see how it goes. I tried leveling the bed the best I could, and every time I'd move one, the other one would, you know, be off a little bit. So I did it the best I could for now. I'll fine-tune it later. Now I'm printing out one of the examples on the SD card, and I have no idea what it is. So I guess we'll find out. Alright, so let's let this go and see what happens. Alrighty guys, so it looks like to be printing okay, um, so let me talk about how, m what my experience was with setting everything up. So the directions, they're a little, you know, they tell you how to get it done, okay. Um, these, this quick start guide, it, it's okay. I would prefer going to the actual manual that comes with it, the manual that has all the pages and following those because they give you a little bit more i don't know detail but you know it's just a little better um 
I mean, it's not hard to set up. It maybe took me 35, 40 minutes. Um, the leveling, the bed leveling process, well, that's just, hopefully it's something I don't have to do very often. And, um, as for the actual running of it, it seems to be doing okay. Um, the only thing I did notice is the bed going back and forth has a little bit of like a, a grinding sound to it. Like some of the bearings aren't the best. Um, but besides that, I haven't really found anything wrong with it. It seems like the first layers are doing okay. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm printing out. I'm just printing out one of the uh, examples on the SD card and there was no name so I just randomly selected one. So yeah, it seems to be printing okay. Um, I guess we'll keep an eye on it here and see how it's going. It seems like the first layer stuck pretty well and it looks like everything's pretty much leveled out. And, um, so yeah, let, let, let's see here how it goes and I'll come back with an update when it's getting close to being done. Alright, as it's printing here, I, was, I thought of something else that I didn't really care for. Um, this one cable right, right there, um, it likes to get caught when the bed comes out the whole way. So if you're doing a larger print that uses the whole length of the bed, it may get caught and mess up some stuff. Now I do think there are some um, things you can print out that help fix that, but um, yeah, for the most part, as long as you print towards the front of the bed, everything should be fine on that, but still that is a concern you have to remember. Um, as for the wiring and stuff, it's oh, it seems okay. Um, I still wish you could just detach the main power unit back here. Um, so that would be another thing I wish they would do but as for the actual overall printer it seems to be doing pretty good so far um, we've got several layers there and everything seems to be going good so alrighty alrighty well it gotten into the point now we're starting to do the infill layers and go a little bit faster so so far everything still seems to be working fine um, you can sort of see in there the layers as it gets higher and higher and higher. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. It's just so exciting. My first 3D printer. My first 3D print. My first, my first, yeah, first everything. So, uh, yep, I'll do another update in a few seconds. Alrighty, guys, so the print is finally done. I took it off the bed and then took the raft off the bottom. And the example print was this little recliner chair. I am amazed at the detail of this. I mean, the bed was, it's not perfectly leveled. It was just a quick level, you know, the first time that was my actual first print and it turned out wonderful. Um, and you can see there a little bit of the detail where the arm or the, uh, to lift the leg thing up would be, um, the pillow just, it has such nice detail um for the 300 and well this usually retails at 350 dollars from mono price and i got the printer for uh 314 dollars because i got it uh, a special sale but yeah it, it prints wonderful and i'm sure once i get it perfectly leveled and everything it will do even better so um all right, well, there's this video on uh, getting my new printer set up and going for the first time. I hope you enjoyed. If so, leave a like button. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.